my strength this hour, Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are, Jesus. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Let's go ahead and open up with a prayer and get right into the word for today. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this day. First of all, wanted to thank you so very much for allowing us to see a new day. Father, we thank you so very much for who you are and for what you do in our lives each and every day. We thank you for being Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, where everything begins and ends with you. Father, we thank you and we ask for your forgiveness this day, Father, for all the times that we did not believe that everything began and ended with you. For all the times we had situations in our lives, Father, and we didn't believe that you were able to handle this situation. Father, we ask for your forgiveness this day. Father, I pray for each and every individual out there, Father, those that are dealing with alcohol, I ask that you cover them with your blood, Father. Those that are dealing with drugs, Father, those that are dealing with broken hearts, Father, I ask that you cover them with your blood. Those dealing with the loss of a loved one, Father, those that are dealing with abuse, some form of abuse in their lives. Father, I ask that you cover them, Father. I ask that some kind of way you get through to them to let them know that you are there and to let them know that everything is going to be all right, Father. Father, let them know that you gave them your darling son, Jesus, and that they are not to handle any issue in this life without him. Father, we love you and we trust that you will work everything out in our lives, Father. We thank you so very much for sending us your darling son, Jesus. We love you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Woo. Amen. Thank you so very much for joining us today. What happens when you get that perfect storm in your life? And when I say perfect storm, I mean the type of storm that has all of the elements to completely devastate your life. I mean the type of storm that will leave you on the floor unable to pick yourself up. Let me go a little deeper. The type of storm that makes you believe that you're better off dead than alive. Yeah, that type of storm. Sooner or later, the perfect storm will blow into your life. And my question for you today is, who or what will be your anchor when that perfect storm comes? The perfect storm is our title for today. You know, I've had several of perfect storms in my life, uh, but there was one particular perfect storm that left me completely devastated. It was very, very painful. I mean, it was the type of storm that made me feel like I couldn't get off the floor. I've had many, but that was one that was perfect and unique to my life. There are storms that are perfect and unique to individuals, depending on your life. Let me just name a couple of those. There are those unique storms that will leave us homeless. When I say homeless, I mean not knowing where you're going to go or what you're going to do about your situation.
there are those situations well where you may have a person that um, meet someone and they fall in love and um, you're thinking that this is the perfect person for me and you give them all of you your heart your spirit your mind you think this is the person for my life this is my soulmate you get married to that person and you think it's going to be happily ever after you think it's, it looks like a fairy tale and then this happens i'm leaving you for her you wait a minute i give you 11 years of my life and you're telling me you're leaving me for another woman i always thought if i gave him what he needed he'd give me what i needed and you know that person doesn't have to leave you all it takes is us finding out that this person has had simply an affair. That can completely devastate a person that honestly thought that this person could never do anything to hurt them. There is also that type of storm that can leave us grieving. Grieving because we've lost maybe a best friend to death. Um, we've lost a loved one, a sister, a cousin, someone that was our anchor throughout our lives. And then they're gone. We can also find ourselves in a particular situation where we're married or maybe we're not married. And we find ourselves being abused, whether it's mentally or physically, yet abused by someone that we love dearly. I told you, it ain't got nothing to do with your name. I love you. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! And you know, there's that type of storm that will leave us completely defeated because we've lost our precious child. Now, this can put us in a place where no one here is able to reach us. My same question from earlier. Who or what will you turn to to be your anchor when, not if, but when that perfect storm blows into your life? Sometimes we turn to drugs to be that anchor in our lives. It takes us to a place where the perfect storm can't touch us for that moment. Although we got to come back down from that high, it's going up there and getting away from that perfect storm that we try to reach. Sometimes we turn to alcohol to be our anchor during that perfect storm. I know for so many of us, it's a numbness to where we don't have to go through those feelings that that perfect storm brings into our lives. We also turn to food to be that anchor during that perfect storm. Although it leads to health issues in our lives, we still quite often turn to food. Some of us turn to shopping to be that anchor for us. Although it leads to financial issues. And one of the other things that we turn to is our job. We become complete workaholics. And that becomes our anchor during our perfect storm. That keeps us from thinking about the pain from the perfect storm when we keep ourselves busy. 
Well, as I mentioned earlier, I had my perfect storm in my life, one that left me completely devastated. And you know, it's so easy to turn to all of those things I just finished talking about, drugs, alcohol, shopping, food, um, becoming a workaholic. But thank God that I knew this man that will never leave us or forsake us. I knew this man that is our strength, that became my strength during my weakness. Thank God I knew of this man that no matter what it is that we do, we can never be separated or lose his love. His name is Jesus. Jesus, the sweetest name I know. He is the one that when I was on the floor, he picked me up. No one else but him. The times when I didn't think I could stop crying, he wiped all my tears away. The time when I was in that bed and was unable to get up the next morning, he gave me his strength to get up out of the bed. The times when I couldn't find it in myself to go to work, he gave me that push to send me to work. But don't take my word for it. Let's go to scripture. Let's start with Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Psalms 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. John 14, 1. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is is made perfect in weakness. Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. First Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. And Micah 7, 7. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Now, these words bring such comfort for me, but you have to believe them. You have to believe that God is who he says he is. You have to believe that Jesus is our salvation. You have to believe that he died on the cross for us. You have to believe that he will never leave you or forsake you. You got to believe that he is our strength during our weakness. You got to believe that there is nothing you can do that will separate his love for us. You got to believe it. Believing in God, believing in Jesus is the only thing that got me through my perfect storm. Believing that he was there for me, believing that he would never leave me or forsake me, believing that even when I was on the floor, in the pain that I was in, 
knowing that he was right there. Don't you ever allow Satan to make you believe that your life is not worth living. Don't you give him, as I stated on one of my previous videos, that welcome mat into your life by choosing those types of anchors that I mentioned earlier. Drugs, alcohol, food, shopping. During the times when you're feeling devastated, when you're feeling devastated, pick up your word. Read some of the scriptures I just went over with you. When you're feeling devastated, go down on your knees. If you have to lay across the floor, lay across the floor and don't you move. Don't you give it up. Get up until God, until Jesus picks you up. Don't you move until he lets you know that everything is going to be all right. So no matter what, allow Jesus to be your anchor during your perfect storm. Allow Jesus to be your anchor during your perfect storm. For we thank Jesus. For we thank God today for sending his only begotten son, Jesus, to where whomever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Until next time, remember, allow Jesus to be your anchor during your perfect storm. And be blessed.